record in a little bit. All right. As the day goes on, I always find new stuff to do. So I think this will be better for this class. Let me just present real quick. I found something easier for you guys to see. All right. Hopefully this helps us out a little bit. All right, so what I have presented to you guys is a worksheet. Um, I have it right here with me. Give me one sec. I just dropped it. All right, here it is. Oh, that's the wrong one. Here it is. It's called Roll a Snowman. So what we're going to do is we're going to be making a snowman based off of what we roll with dice. Now, if you don't have dice, I have them for us. And I do have two dice just in case if you don't like the first option that we get. So let me just turn my camera around so you guys can see what's on my table as always. Give me one sec. Uh, there we go. All right, so this is what's on my table. It's the pair of dice in this worksheet. You don't need the worksheet though. That's only just for me. But I have it presented to you guys just in case if it's hard to see. All right, with that said, let me explain the rules. Now, the rules are there is six rolls that we have to do. Each of the rolls just uh, determines what part of the snowman that we're drawing. So the body, the face, the hands, the buttons, uh, the accessories, and the hat. So we'll be doing six rolls, but we have two dices. Let me explain what these two dices are for. Now, the two dices, you either can either choose option number one. So option number one is dice number one. Option number two, if you don't like option number one, is the second dice. And then uh, I did make this new roll up during kindergarten. If you don't like either of option number one or option number two, uh, it's always uh, allowed for you guys to do your own thing as well. All right, so let's get started right away. All right, here we go. All right, let me roll these two dices here. All right, it looks like I got a number six, which is a melting snowman, and a number two, which is basically a circle and another circle, so it looks like a total of two circles there. Let me see if the worksheets I'm presenting to you is the same, and it is, good job. All right, so what you're gonna do on your piece of paper, you're gonna pick one of those options, either the melting snowman or the two circles, or like I stated before, if you don't like either of those, you can do your own thing. So I think for me, I think I'm gonna do the melted one. So I'm gonna go like this, make a little lump right there, Go over, make another lump, just like that. Now, um, if you have your own dice, you are allowed to have completely different um, options there. So if you wanna play with your own dice, you're allowed to. But if you're using my dice, I rolled a six and I rolled a two, okay? All right, let's see what option we have for roll number two is, and it's the face, nose, and mouth. Here we go. You guys ready? Here I go. All right, I rolled a five and I rolled a one. Ooh, all right, so let me slide these dices over so you guys can see. All right, looks like I got a, a regular face for a snowman. And it looks like for number five, we have uh, a pretty interesting face, but with a button nose and looks like a mouth using twigs or sticks. Pretty neat. I think for mine, I think I'm gonna use number five. So let me just make the mouth. And I do have a handy dandy brown marker at hand, so might as well just use the brown marker to symbolize it's wood. And then I'm gonna make a button nose and then eyes. Here I go. Here's one eye and here's the other eye. And that's pretty close to what number five or option number five was. All right, awesome. And again, if you don't like either of those options, you could have drawn your own thing too. I'm just trying to follow what the game is. Oh, cool. You rolled number four. Awesome. All right. Let's try to do what the next one is. Roll number three is the hands and arms. All right. Here we go. Whoa. There goes the dice. All right. So I rolled a three, which is uh, bent arms and mittens. And roll number six is kind of like just looks like drumsticks kind of. So that's what I got. So what I'm going to do. I'm gonna see which one I want. Uh, I think I might pick uh, the one with bent arms and mittens. I think that's the one I want. So I'm gonna do one arm up and one arm down. 
And then I will do the mittens here. So it looks like there is kind of loop-de-loops here like that. And then the glove. So loop-de-loops here again, and then the thumb and glove. There you go. Looking pretty neat so far. How are you guys doing? Oh, I see some hands up. Um, Carter, did you have a question? No? I oh, sorry, hand up. Uh, Narayanan, did you have a question? No? Yes. All right, what's the question? Yes. Be because the snowman melts in the sun. Oh my gosh, you're completely right. Good job. All right. Roll number four. Roll number four is telling me what I have to do for the stomach. Now, but before we do know roll number four, look what roll number five is. Roll number five is like scarves, ties, and stuff. So when you're drawing number four, make sure you have enough room just in case you guys get one of these other rolls. Okay? I'll explain that in a little bit too. Right, let's see what I get for roll number four. All right, I have option number six, which is alternating uh, small and big dots like that. And option number three is a bunch of tiny dots. I think I'm going to do the alternating one from big, small, big, small. I like that one better. I'm going to put it right here. And what I'm doing is that I'm making enough room for roll number five. So I made enough room over here just in case if I roll the dice and I get like a scarf or something. So I made sure I had enough room over there. All right, let's try roll number five. You guys ready? Here we go. All right, for roll number five, we got a four and we also got a five. So it's telling me that roll number four is an ordinary tie. And it's telling me that roll number five is Christmas lights. Now, I think I want to do Christmas lights, but I don't want to do their Christmas lights. So this is the part where, like I said, um, you are allowed to change up the rules a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my lights have a green wire, just like that. And I think I'm going to choose to do lights that look like this all over the place. So just yellow dots alternating back and forth like that. And that's what I chose to do. There we go. So just because I rolled light and it looks different doesn't mean you have to copy it exactly. Hopefully that helps you guys. All right. Wow, we have so much time left. This is awesome. OK, let's do our last roll. Our last roll is the headgear or the headwear. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, I rolled two of the same thing. Let me change one of those options there. All right, awesome. I, I ro or we ro rolled a number one, and our other roll was a number five. So we have two options here for us. We have like a holiday themed hat, and we have just a normal beanie. Uh, so those are our options. And again, if you don't like either of those, you guys can always do your own thing. I'm gonna do probably option number one here. There we go. I think I'm gonna add a line like that. And there we are. I will leave this presentation up a tad bit longer just in case if you were going at your own pace and you were rolling your own type of dice. Uh, but while you guys are doing that, um, I thought it would be nice to share with you guys what the other classes have gotten because we're all doing the same worksheet. And what happens is we all get different results. So you guys are 1R. That's what I got from Ms. Rona's class. You guys want to see what I got for the other classes? Here we go. All right, so for Mrs. Um, Seti, Ms. Lowe's class, our snowman ended up looking like this. Pretty neat. For Mrs. Um, Manuel, Ms. Rinaldi's class, their snowman ended up like this. This is what we rolled in the dice game. And then finally, for Mrs. Ochoa's and Ms. Demrath's class, our snowman ended up looking like this one. So basically, the project looks different every single time, depending on the roll of the dice. I thought that was pretty cool. And this one is yours, obviously. All right. If you do want to decorate your snowman and color it, you can right now. Uh, if you want to add a background, you can. In about one minute, if you want to share it with you, uh, share it with everybody, we can all hold it up to the camera in a couple minutes, okay? A couple seconds, I should say.
Unless you want to hold it up now, that's fine too. Wow, good job. Um, let's see who's that. Oliver, good job. Charlie, good job. Rhea, I saw yours. Awesome job. All right, while you guys are all finishing up, let me see if I can um, post this worksheet to everyone, just in case if they want to use it for future reference. Give me one sec, everybody. All right, I do see, um, let's see, some hands being raised. Um, let's see, Narayanan, do you have a question? Yes. What's your question? The snowman get got a classroom. Uh, got classroom. The teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't understand the question. It's, it looks like he sounds like he's Spanish. No, I think he was trying to answer. I uh, ask a question. Yeah. I know. Uh, Ryan, and do I try again? What's your question again? That's your question. Oh, okay. None melt because the all of the snow melt. Oh well, you're completely right. Uh, the snow. All right. Um, with that said, I'm going to stop the recording now. Uh, and if you want to share me what you made.